Good afternoon, Gateway Gators. It's Friday, October 18th, and we hope you're having a fantastic day so far. Today at the Gator Cafe, we're serving up assorted whole grain pizza selections with veggie du jour. There's nothing quite like a delicious slice of pizza to kick off your weekend, so make sure you grab a plate and enjoy your lunch. Remember, the veggie du jour is packed with nutrients to keep you energized all day long. Enjoy, Gators. Today is National Necktie Day, so if you see Mr. Beard or any of the men from social studies, give them a fist pump. This Monday, October 21st, there will be an SGA meeting in room 235. On Tuesday, October 22nd, there will be a senior class council meeting, also in room 235. Now let's kick it over to Parker for today's weather. What's the forecast looking like today? Thanks, Bella. Hey there, Gators. Today in Monroeville, we'll have a high of 68 degrees and a low of 38, with a mix of clouds and sunshine throughout the day. Perfect weather for all of you who love that crisp autumn feel. This weekend, we'll be seeing more sunshine with highs in the mid-70s, so it's shaping up to be a great couple of days to spend outdoors. Whether you're taking a walk in the park, enjoying a football game, or just hanging out with friends, make sure to soak in this beautiful fall weather before it goes away. Speaking of enjoying the fall weather, one exciting way to do that is to visit Haunted Acre Manor. Pittsburgh's premier Halloween tradition. So gather your friends, muster up some courage, and have, head over to experience the thrill, if you dare. With a unique blend of horror and entertainment, this haunted house features five terrifying sections, along with special attractions like the burial simulator that is sure to give you chills. Hundred Acre Manor has been recognized as one of the nation's scariest haunted houses by notable outlets such as USA Today, LA Times, and Forbes.com. Be sure to check it out! That does sound scary, and honestly, I think I'll need some courage to have to get through that haunted house. But you know what else is scary? Having your Skyward account charged for not returning a borrowed Chromebook or charger to the library. That's right, Gators. Any student who borrowed and did not return their Chromebook or charger from the library between September and October 11th will have their Skyward account charged for the item if it's not returned by the end of next week. No one wants those extra charges, so please make sure that to return everything as soon as possible. The library staff is here to help you if you have any questions about what's overdue. Be sure to turn those in, Gators. We want everyone to avoid those unnecessary fees. Last night, the girls' varsity volleyball team faced off against McKeesport Area High School. They swept all their games yesterday. And they were all exciting. We're very proud of all our players for their hard work and dedication. And tonight is senior recognition for our amazing cheerleaders as they take on Latrobe here in the Swamp. Come support our seniors. They've worked incredibly hard and deserve all the recognition. It's going to be a night filled with energy, fun, and of course, a lot of school spirit. Also, we've got some exciting news for any student grade 9 through 12 who's interested in swimming or diving on the varsity swim team. Optional preseason conditioning will begin on Tuesday, October 29th from 4.30 to 6 p.m. This is a great opportunity to get in shape, meet your teammates, and prepare for an awesome season. The official season will begin on Monday, November 18th, so mark your calendars. If you have any questions, please email Coach Raymer at gramer at gatewayk12.org. He'll be happy to provide you with all the details you need to get started. That's all for today, Gators. We hope you have a wonderful weekend filled with fun, rest, and maybe even a little adventure. Don't forget to take some time for yourself and enjoy everything this season has to offer. Stay awesome, Gateway. Remember to show your kindness, work hard, and make the most out of every moment. Stay tuned for a Flashback Friday after the pledge.
Good morning. Thank you for joining us for our morning broadcast at Gateway Middle School. Today is Tuesday, September 3rd, 2019. Please stand and join us in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today's wonder quote is, I shouldn't wonder if you didn't wonder much too much. P.L. Travers, Mary Poppins comes back. Today, let's choose kind. AIM students, please check the AIM Google, Google Classroom for upcoming activities. Now Boaz will bring us today's club news. Over to you, Boaz. Thank you, Al. The first computer club and computer fair meeting will be held on Tuesday, September 10, 2019, from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. in room 105. Please tell right by 4 p.m. Please see Mr. Mangus from 105 if you have any questions. Now Darius will tell us about student council. Sign-ups for student council will be held all week in homerooms. If you are interested in volunteering, planning school activities and dances, <clears throat> and helping to make GMS a great place to be, sign up. Everyone is welcome. Any questions can be directed at Mrs. Edwards in the counseling office. Kennedy will now report on the weather for today. Should we su su expect sunny skies again? Thank you. Today we will have partly cloudy skies with a high of 83 degrees. Tonight there is a 50% chance of thunderstorms with a low of 67 degrees. It, it's currently 60 degrees. Now let's find out what's for lunch. The lunch entree for today is the ultimate seasoned beef nachos with cheese. It will be served with niblets of corn, chilled fruit cocktail, and a choice of fruit. If you would like to give a shout out to someone on their birthday, you can find forms in the office to complete and submit to Mr. Mangus. This cost is $1 to support the musical arts at GMS. Good job to the cross country team at the Invitational on Saturday. And good luck to the soccer team at today on their games today. Thank you. This completes the morning announcements. Happy National Skyscraper Day.